some students in Williamstown, New Jersey, will not be returning to their classrooms anytime soon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer. In for Jessica Dean, an air quality inspection found mold inside Holly Glen Elementary School. Eyewitness News reporter David Spont is live at Williamstown High School tonight, where a meeting there is about to take place. David? Nicole and Yuki, this is discouraging news for these students and parents. After all, students started here about a month ago. We are talking about Holly Glen Elementary School just down the street from where I am. Right now, I'm in front of Williamstown High School, and I'm here because in about an hour, the school board is going to hold a public meeting. The superintendent and other top officials will be here to listen to parental con concerns. We're told that an environmental protection agency was out just a few days ago. They conducted several tests, and they found a strong presence of mold inside the school in separate rooms. Now, in order to remedy this, they are at least having the students leave for three weeks. Could be more. They're going to send them to separate schools, but that's what's going to be discussed behind me tonight at 7 o'clock. I did catch the superintendent on his way into an executive session meeting earlier. He said, obviously, this is top of mind right now for the school district. He takes this incredibly seriously. He wants to hear from parents tonight, and he wants them to know the school will be closed until they fix this problem at least three weeks for these students and teachers. Reporting live in Williamstown, David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you. David, thank you. We'll see you a little later tonight.